Plaintiff Robert Trebizovsky says the defendant lives in the same trailer park as he does. And the first time he met her, she was offering herself to Robert for $5. Robert claims the defendant also offered to sell him drugs. And then she had him falsely arrested. He's suing her today for property and emotional distress. Defendant Andrea Petrakopoulos says every time she sees Robert, he's drunk or drugged out. And he's the one who approached her, asking to buy pills or crack. Andrea claims she had Robert arrested because he pushed her to the ground. So she's countersuing for assault. Start with you. Uh, Your Honor, uh, I moved into this trailer park uh, February of uh, 2016. Uh, I had seen Andre around the park, uh, living with other men, and uh, arrests going on to where she. What do you mean, other men? Uh, that she <laughs> other lived men with, aside from who? Uh, different men that she had lived with uh, in the time that I had known her. Uh, in the park. Like how long? Uh, to, was she living with each man? How to, many men? Let's start there. To back up uh, one man she was living with, she had a baby, gave the baby away for adoption. Okay. Then she How turned long around, did she live with him? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I had just moved in right around February. But you saw that. Next she guy. Had, she had him arrested. Then at a, tra- a lot trailer two, there was a window getting broken. The police over there no, and another about guy the men getting arrested. She lived with. Yeah. The men she lived with. One, she uh, gave a baby away with. Right. And then the she, second one was... At lot two, she moved in. Uh-huh. And... Uh, what happened the, with her and that guy? I don't know, but... I'm the still police came. How, And then what other guy? She moved in with another guy? No. Uh, Just two. Did I know of there. And I never well, met that's her. all you know. She had two different men. Uh, <laughs> that she lived with. Yeah. Over the course of how long? Three uh, years. A year. Three years? I was with one guy for three years. Right. I broke up with him okay. and got with somebody uh-huh. else. What else you want me to know? Um, I seen her going in and out of other trailers, and that was talk around town to what she, her business. And later I found out how she was scamming older men and having them arrested. Oh. Um, by when I first met her face to face, she knocked on my door about 11 o'clock at night. And... Uh, <laughs> was offering me uh, uh, her for $5, anything I wanted to do with her. <laughs> that and is so if, not true. If I needed any kind of drugs, cocaine, what are you marijuana, doing? she's the one to go through. Wow. What did you tell her? I told her definitely not, and that's I guess that's where the hatred <laughs> for us started, because I don't drink, I don't smoke cigarettes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I have no use oh, for really? that type of... Uh, the rest of the people in a trailer park. It's a 55-plus trailer park. I don't know what Andrea... How about the $5 deal? What did you tell her about <laughs> yeah. that? Yeah, you, you skipped yeah. that deal. This is, yeah. this, this is new to me, you actually. You skipped that part. What did you say to that deal? I, I wasn't interested. <laughs> okay, you told her that? Um, right. And just <laughs> finding right. out more about her that, mm-hmm. uh, that I heard that there's a scam that uh, they're running her and a couple other girlfriends of hers did they get caught? They have uh, men arrested. Well, that's what we're here for today is because she had me done it. She had me arrested over a lot. As lies. part of a scam? Yes. Okay. All right. Let me get some background <laughs> from you, ma'am. Your Honor, Mm-hmm. first off, none of that is true. March 23rd is when I moved in. I lived with a guy, my baby daddy. Yes, I put up my baby up for adoption because financially I couldn't take care of it. Mm-hmm. Um, when I moved in with my second boyfriend is when I met Robert because he went over to my boyfriend's house asking for marijuana, pills, and crack. Time out, Your Honor. I, I'm known else. as I don't do drugs in church and circles. Like every single time known. I saw him, he was either drugged up or drunk. Definitely. Where would you see Your him Honor, at, man? Be, on, be quiet, lying. sir. He's, he did this thing every day where he would walk around the trailer park. Sometimes he'd be stumbling. And That's how I know everybody's business. Exactly. He would I'm walk all around sober. The, the, the trailer park. Four years and sometimes cigarette. I would catch him try to pick in people's, you know, windows. Peep freak. Yep. Or, or peeping Tom. Pretty much. Pretty much. Peeping Bob. 
His <laughs> <laughs> name is Robert. <laughs> the man said he goes to church. He's known in the church communities as an avid Christian. Huh? He does go to church. He, he did actually go to church and as an Your Honor, I'm, I'm scared a lightning bolt's going to come honestly, through this ceiling. Like, if she how, keeps this up. How can he go to church and then go back home and sin? It's sinful. It, it, That's what all Christians do. I know, but... <laughs> You know, he's trying to make himself look like he's, you know, that's God, the, basically. That's, that's what the church is happen. for, for sinners. How often do you go to church? At least every Wednesday, Bible study. How about Sunday? Yes, I, yeah, I go to many churches. Yeah, that's who go to churches. church the most. The sinners, they need to go to church the most. <laughs> you might be on to something talking about his bad ways, because otherwise you wouldn't go to church so much. Why do you have to go to church so much if you're not sinning? I chose that over AA meetings because the Lord helped me get off the alcohol. That's right. Let's get to the property yeah. you're suing her for, sir. How does she owe you $5,000 for property and emotional distress? Um, I went out of my house to have coffee 7 o'clock in the morning. When was this? What month? Uh, November 2nd, 2016. And she had already had a hatred for me, and mm -hmm. there was other girls of her. Why did she have the hatred uh, for because you? Because I turned her down. I had heard about the uh, her and some other girlfriends. They're uh, scheming, scams running about taking men and uh, uh, getting in their trailer <laughs> and stealing stuff off of them and whatnot. So you got me confused. I'm with somebody being else. Uh, careful with uh, who I let in my trailer. So she approaches me one day, pulling up in the car out front and says like this through the window, come here. And I go up to the window and she says, uh, what's this calling me a whore? And I says, well, I really don't even know your name. About that time, she sees the neighbor girl, Pam, come around the corner. I seen her eyes get big, so that the, the both of them pretty much attacked on me. She gets out of her car and comes up into my yard. Pam comes into my yard. I go back in my house, the cops come. Uh, her and the neighbor lady, Pam, are saying that I was Who called the police? Them. I guess one of them did. Mm -hmm. My mother-in-law did. The cops come and they want to know. Uh, the girls start telling them that I left my yard, that I grabbed a screwdriver and all this, which is totally a conclusion Okay, so what did the police do? I went back in my house. The cops came over, listened to her, and she got another girl off the street. There were like uh, three, four girls mm -hmm. testifying that... This is what I did, leaving my yard and mm -hmm. everything. Three or four people say they saw you, and then what? Right, well, I took it, I got arrested. I did 28 days in jail. Uh, had to get myself out. So the judge who wouldn't give you bond believed her. Well, I... I believe those four people versus you. Okay, yes, because the arresting officer didn't want to hear my side of the story. Um, Prosecutor didn't. The judge didn't. So I took it to a jury trial. What did they do? I, I got papers where I was found not guilty mm -hmm. by see. a jury, hands down. By jury? Did mm -hmm. you testify? Yes, sir. Why do you think he was found not guilty? Honestly, I don't understand how he was not found guilty. Mm -hmm. Will you tell me about the incident? The, okay. I was actually at Pamela's house, sitting on her porch, drinking coffee. Mm -hmm. He is out on the street okay. on his bike starts yelling at us, telling us how much we are whores and that we should go to hell and die and calling me a baby killer, all kinds of things. Um, I got up. I just stood up. I didn't move any closer to him. I said, you need to leave Pamela's yard. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to. He got closer to me. He pushed me to the ground. I got up, ran across the street to my mother-in-law's house, banged on her door. Till I told her, hey, call the cops. Okay, and the police came and they and the arrested police him. Came you had how him. many eyewitnesses? I had three. Did they talk to the police? Yes. Who has the police report? Me. And sir, malicious prosecution, which it sounds yeah. like you're trying to get to, is uh, where yeah. there is an intent to frame you, for lack of a better term. And story. there was absolutely no probable cause to believe you did something. I uh, stated I was drinking coffee and minding my own business. He said he, a blue SUV driven by a female he doesn't know pulled up in front of his residence, started yelling at him after he was arrested for aggravated assault. That's what they're saying. I transported him to District Run. While en route, Mr. Robert told me that I was a nasty bee. He said that I was a man hater and I was such a nasty bee. This was a female officer? Yes, That sir. I was such a nasty bee that no man would ever want me. 
He then stated that he will hope and pray every night that I am shot between the eyes. He said when he sees it on the news, he will just laugh and laugh and laugh. He then stated that he will show up at my funeral with a cup of pee and dump it on my head. This continued until we arrived. Then I trans... That's why you got them 28 days. (laughs) (laughs) Your Honor. You said all this, sir? Did you say all this to the police? You didn't say any of this? When I was arrested... Did you say any of this? No. All right, I don't believe you. I believe you're perjuring yourself. Your claim is dismissed. Your Honor. Have a good day. Yours is granted. She caused me to lose everything I had, and uh, she's a liar, got away with it. Um, And the uh, police uh, sheriff's office. Robert, I wish you luck. I wish you You the best, honestly. And And I hope one day you can stop stop being abusive towards women. You're greedy, and you're giving babies away because you want to do drugs. You are a drug dealer. Yeah, okay, that's what you want to think. That's fine to me. All right, well.